to you. Moving ahead, I would now welcome the respected president for today's function, Honorable Governor Shri Bharatweer Vanchu, to kindly address today's dignities and guests. Professor Romila Thapar, eminent historian, Dr. Shatish R. Shetty, Vice Chancellor, Goa University, Dr. Maria Kuto, Chair of Standing Committee on Visiting Professor Scheme, Honorable Emily, Professor Kamath, Registrar, Professor Bhatt, Dean, Faculty of Social Sciences, Principals, Members of the Faculty, Teachers, Ladies and Gentlemen, my dear students. At the outset, I would like to express my deep sense of appreciation and gratitude to Professor Ramela Thapar for agreeing to spare her most valuable time to visit our university and for delivering such an enlightening address on contours and reading early Indian history, which was indeed not only informative, but highly thought-provoking. I am indeed overwhelmed at having to speak after such a scholarly and scintillating talk and would therefore keep it short. Professor Romila Thapar, as we all know, is very well known and recognized as an erudite scholar of India's history and has written several books on the subject which serve as a rich treasure of information and knowledge, not only all over India, but across the globe as well. The notable literary works penned by Professor Romila Thapar are an expression of our nation's past history and wisdom, the knowledge of which is very important for our present and future generations. We can find the works of Professor Romila Thapar occupying a place of prominence in our universities and other libraries. However, in the current times of instant information gratification via the internet and numerous other channels, our new generation needs to be reminded and motivated to read these valuable books which would serve them well to, un to understand <coughs> the intricacies of our national ethos and background. I would thus advise our students as well as others to spend some time in the study of such important works and benefit from the wealth of knowledge and information contained in them. I would like to compliment Goa University and the Vice Chancellor for assiduously pursuing this visiting professorship scheme. I would be failing in my duty if I do not place on record my deep appreciation of the tireless efforts and commitment of Dr. Maria Kuto and the committee in taking this scheme forward and launching it with none other than Professor Romila Thapar. The presence of Professor Romila Thapar here in Goa University is not only for our students, but also for our faculty, a matter of great honor and inspiration. I would call upon our students and also our faculty to seize upon this opportunity of her presence here to enrich themselves intellectually. I am reminded of William Hazlitt, who said, and I quote, a scholar is like a book written in a dead language. It is not everyone that can read it, unquote. The students of Goa University and the faculty are therefore blessed by the presence of Professor Romela Thapar in their midst, and I'm sure that they would take advantage of her presence and imbibe some of her wisdom, as it is education alone that can lead our country out of the dark days. If the students, and more particularly the faculty, can absorb from Professor Romila Thapar some of her wisdom and scholarly traits, and perhaps, more importantly, her high values, we would achieve in large measure what we intend to by way of the visiting professorship scheme. Friends, history helps us to know our past and understand its linkage with the present and the foreseeable future. As someone said, the very concept of history implies the scholar and the reader. Without a generation of civilized people to study history, to preserve its records, to absorb its lessons, and relate them to its own problems, history too would lose its meaning. It therefore goes without saying that every generation should necessarily understand, appreciate, and assimilate a systematic account of the history of their nation, which should be objective and dispassionate. 
A responsibility is therefore cast on our educational institutions to transmit knowledge of our history to, to our succeeding generations, whether it is cultural history, social history, or the history of sciences. Everything that happens in the world becomes part of history. But history, we need to ensure, is not distorted or discarded, as that would be self-destructive. Let me remind you that history is not merely an account of wars and struggles between kings and kingdoms, but is also peace, security, justice, as well as innovations and improvements in the life of mankind from time to time. It is indeed a matter of joy and satisfaction for us that our country has produced eminent and erudite men and women who not only loved history, but passionately contributed to its enrichment through extreme hard work and perseverance. Professor Romila Thapar is undoubtedly one of our leading scholars, and it would be appropriately to say about her scholarly traits, as someone aptly said, it is the unknown that excites the order of scholars, who in the known alone would shrivel with boredom. Universities stand for dissemination of knowledge and wisdom to the new generation, and to ensure continuity of this process for the benefit of society. India was a major seat of learning during ancient times. Our country has inherited a rich tradition of knowledge and learning, which has intensely benefited successive generations. Unfortunately, however, we have in the modern times lost our preeminent position in the field of education and learning and need to do a lot more to improve the quality of education in our country so as to regain our lost glory. The 21st century, you would all agree, is the age of knowledge and information, which to my mind should serve us significantly in helping solve many of the problems and challenges like poverty and illiteracy being faced by our country. The time has come when we should seriously attempt to integrate higher education with the socio-economic and cultural needs of our country. Our universities should act as active partners and mediators in the process of socio-economic progress of the people and should be capable of addressing many of the developmental needs and problems facing our society. I am happy that Goa University has launched this novel scheme of visiting professorship in order to facilitate interaction between eminent scholars of our country and our faculty and students. I am pleased that we have an impressive list of reputed and renowned scholars from different fields. Our faculty and students would thus get an opportunity to rub shoulders with several intellectual giants in the next three academic years. We must remember that the process of dissemination of knowledge is unending and we need to f take full advantage of this scheme. Acquisition of new knowledge should be the motto of everyone. We can no more live in closed societies and be ignorant of the changes and progress that is happening around the world. Today, the world is shrinking into a global village. The knowledge emerging in one part of the world is spreading across the entire globe. Our teachers and students in Goa should make all-out efforts to update their information and knowledge on a regular basis in order to make our education system more relevant and in tune with changing times. I would like to thank the Vice Chancellor and the University Administration for their, in in for their initiative and innovative approach in launching this program, which I am confident will prove to be very successful and useful. To our students, for whose benefit this scheme has been launched, I would like to say that in order to succeed, your desire for success should be greater than your fear of failure. I would also like to say that learning is a process. It comes in incremental stages, but rarely all at once. And the secret to mastery in any field is to forever be a student. In today's scenario, why we always stress on discipline and hard work, I would like to say to our students, as someone once said, study hard what interests you the most in the most undisciplined 
irreverent and original manner possible. I once again thank Professor Romila Thapar for having been gracious enough to visit us and deliver such an illuminating address. I would like to conclude by describing Professor Thapar by quoting Nelson Mandela, who once said, and I quote, a good head and a good heart are always a formidable combination. But when you add to that a literate tongue or pen, then you have something very special, unquote. Thank you, Jai Hind. Thank you, sir.